Economic development is a top priority of the County Commission. We support a business-friendly environment to create jobs and enhance our commercial tax base. David Dobbs Enterprises has been in St. Johns County since 1980, so 36 years. We make a lot of products for the hospitality industry, menu covers, check presenters, uh, table stands, anything you really can see to, that would help promote a restaurant's menu. We manufacture compression, extension, torsion, springs. We also manufacture conduit springs. We opened our doors here with the, the idea that we were going to manufacture a, a hybrid power system for boats. And what has happened is the, the, the solar stick has become a system and has been adopted by land-based customers as opposed to mariners. St. John's County has a wealth of assets that benefit the business community, including manufacturers. We're very well known for our interstate connectivity and the infrastructure networks, including Interstate 95 and close proximity to I-10 and I-4, as well as our airport assets within the Jacksonville region and our own Northeast Florida Regional Airport. The benefits of having our business located here in St. John's County are access to the interstate network. We're close to ports up in Jacksonville. We're close to the St. Augustine Airport, which is now offering a lot more flights in and out, which will bring more business opportunities here. And location, location, location. Um, I, you know, St. John's County is, is really good to us on a number of fronts. Talent pool, very, very key. But also the proximity of the people the, we, we hire a number of people to actually live within the city limits of St. Augustine. The schools here are so great and we can get a lot of families that are relocating to the St. Johns County area because of that and so we can get some talented employees they are looking for that. Having a malleable workforce and access to a very wide talent pool has been key to really I think the success of the, of the team that we have now. But it was also a family decision. We were looking for a nice area with a nice weather uh, nice uh, community resources. Then when you add that an excellent uh, number one school system, then it makes it very attractive for us, but it's also very attractive for our employees. You know, the county provides great support of a business-friendly climate. The Office of Economic Development facilitates any resources necessary to assist new businesses, existing businesses, to help them grow. The county is very supportive to businesses. It's not really about what we're taking from the county. You know, it, it's giving back to the county because the county is just, it's good to us on so many fronts. A lot of loyalty to local businesses doing business with each other. So I think that's another nice part of St. John's County is that close knit between business owners and each other. Our local chamber is also a great resource for networking and community engagement. And we also partner with other agencies to provide resource programs such as the Small Business Development Center. The Small Business Development Center helped us a great deal. I don't think we would be as successful today without that resource. The Industrial Development Authority is a great resource for the county. They were very instrumental in attracting Rulon International to St. John's County a few years ago and that they were able to access that financing to build their new corporate headquarters and manufacturing facility. Well, the IDA is the conduit for tax-exempt bond financing for qualified manufacturers. As interest rates rise, which we all know they will, the bond financing will be a benefit that will be available to manufacturers. St. John's County is known throughout the development community as being business friendly and our staff has worked really hard for that designation and we appreciate the fact that our business community is realizing that as well. We're, we're proud of this town, we're proud of St. Augustine, we're proud of St. John's County. You know, we get asked all the time, why well, can't you just relocate, can't you go somewhere else? And the answer is no. You know, we don't want to leave St. John's County and, and St. Augustine. We're, this is home. In the next three to five years, I see our company growing and expanding. We currently are 65% domestic sales and 55% exports. So I see the both areas growing. I see a lot of growth with us. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited about some of that, but still using our, our core manufacturing bookbinding skills that, that got us to where we are you know, from where we are today. I'm, I'm bent on keeping it here and continuing to realize the, uh, the dream of, um, of building something amazing in St. John's. Uh, it's easy to do business in this county. 
and it's also very nice to live in this county. St. John's County is continually recognized as a top location for quality of life amenities and educational assets. The weather's great here pretty much year round. Uh, you got the beaches, um, the, just the quality of life in St. John's County is really good. We have access to the University of North Florida. We also have Flagler College here in St. Augustine. Uh, we have several technical training facilities here in St. John's County. We just numerous assets here that really improve the quality of life. Here in St. John's County, it's all about collaboration. And that to me, it's very, very important. You know, St. John's, this is home. We're never leaving, and um, you know, this is part of who we are now as a company. You'd be hard pressed to pry us out of here with a crowbar. I just love the area. The, I love the, the community feel. We love the, the water, the beach. The weather's always great, and there's a lot of good people here. You know, if you can't come here and start a business and be successful, then your business model is wrong. You, know, you, you, you can do almost anything in this county, whether it's manufacturing, service-based, tourism-based, you know, there's, there's no reason that you would come here and fail as a business based on, you know, what you have access to.